Hey there, in this video you will be learning how to give course access if you are using Teachable as a learning management partner, right? So in this video you will learn how you can automate the entire process if somebody pays you via Insta Mojo. Now you need to understand that the course access delivery on Teachable is really a painful process and you require a third party tool which is Zapier and now the combination of Zapier and Teachable is super super expensive but any which way i'm going to be telling you how to go about it if you have already hosted your course or if you're thinking about it then towards the end i'm going to be telling you an amazing alternative which makes your work easier and also you can save tons of money now you see that uh, we are in the home screen of zapier and now you can see the pricing plan starts from 25 dollars now don't get fooled by this number this is per month only if built annually right so now you'll have to start with 25 dollars month on month where you get 750 tasks per month which means let's say if somebody pays you on insta mojo right uh, you get a successful payment you're very happy and all of that now you want to shift that um payment details to a google sheet why because um, you don't want to show your insta mojo details to your employees to other people so you might want to put that detail into a google sheet and from there you want to uh, actually give course access to teachable so insta mojo to google sheet to course access and now you actually want to put them into an email marketing tool of yours as well so fourth step so there are three tasks involved for a successful payment now you can notice per month you can only give access to 250 students even if you're giving access for a free course you will burn 250 tasks bare minimum right so now these numbers are pretty less 750 tasks is nothing and uh, we were actually on their 50,000 tasks per month plan where we're paying them 380 73 dollars and something right so now let's understand uh, so this is the pricing structure as such now here is where you will have to make a zap okay so when you click on zap and now we will begin the process of automating the insta mojo to uh, the course access delivery and now you'll notice here you'll have to click on webhooks so webhooks by zapier is uh, is only available for the premium users of uh, zapier itself right so you click on webhooks by zapier and now here is where you will click on catch hook now zapier uh, webhooks by zapier is nothing but or webhooks uh, in general is nothing but it's a url uh, in simple terms and it sits inside an application and waits for data to capture yes so if we place this url inside insta mojo it will wait if there is any activity going on within that application and the moment an activity is captured let's say a successful payment is captured it will push the data from insta mojo and give it to uh, zapier here and from there we can automate a lot of process as such yes now let's continue and you will click on continue and you will get your unique uh, custom webhook url so this is uh, super super unique to you and everybody will have a different one as such so all you have to do is just copy this webhook here yes now you will come back to uh, product section and of insta mojo and this is the old ui as such so even in the new ui there is webhook av available and you'll be able to figure out uh, in the bottom of uh, the product section now let's say i am doing an automation for this particular product here and i will click on edit okay so first thing first step process is you actually going to edit and you will put a webhook at the bottom okay if you click on that at the bottom in the advanced setting you'll find something called as webhook url so no matter what product you do no matter if you have 100 200 300 different products this is the process that you need to follow every single time okay so you will generate a webhook um, a unique webhook from zapier you will create a new zap and you will come into the product section and you will try to paste it in this particular platform here and you will just click on update so that is it that was your first step as such all right now what you really have to do is let's do a test right now so this has been done and uh, let's continue and it will actually ask for testing a trigger so to it's important to test because uh, then Zapier will know that hey you have done the right thing and I'm able to receive a data and now to test it out you don't have to pay 10,000 uh, to test the process there is something called as discount codes 
and now you'll just go and pick on any discount code here so that uh, it could be just one time affair that you can do uh, you know uh, just putting it to zero and click on buying yes so one more thing you can remember is you can make uh, the payment directly from here or you can create a coupon code here so whatever coupon code you put you can uh, turn off the entire amount so if your product worth is 799 so you put it 799 and you put one as the quantity so that you can test it out so this is purely for testing purposes or you can just pay the entire amount and see if it's working fine because anyway it's going to go into your bank account again yes so now i've created this testing account and i'm going to claim this for free so i've put an uh, um, testing email id i've put a fake number here and i'm just going to click on claim for free now let's see what happens here So let's, all right, so now you can notice here, uh, immediately you will see we found a request because I paid it over here, I received uh, a status as credit and not just that, we are good to continue from here, so let's continue. And now our uh, automation will begin. So you will just go click on Google Sheet uh, you can create a new sh uh, spreadsheet row if you want or you can just update a column right so here you will go and choose let's say create spreadsheet row right so create a new row in a specific spreadsheet now let me click on this and let's continue so it will then ask for your account which account do you want to actually associate and then let me just go pick up any random account here and let's see if there is yeah you can choose my drive you can uh, choose the spreadsheet over here and then you can choose the worksheet which is the bottom sheet that you always find and you will click on continue so now you can put in the name over here which is the buyer name Rishi Jane yes you can put the email ID and you'll just have to click on show all options and click on email ID and then uh, insert the phone number as well, uh, which is buyer phone number, right? And that's about it. So that's about it. Uh, you don't have to do anything else apart from here and that's it. So you'll just click on continue and you'll just click on test and continue. Right, so now you'll notice the test was successful. So immediately this particular data is, goes to my Google Sheet and uh, this is sorted as such. Now comes the uh, important part which is, uh, which is adding one more step here and giving course access using Teachable. So you'll click on Teachable. There are two things over here, create new user, um, enroll user in course, find student unroll student from course now you need to know here that you'll have to start with create new user and most importantly uh, the this particular task is available only in the professional plans and higher so if you go to teachable uh, pricing plans uh, you might actually be on $39 or uh, you know on the basic plan which gives you a lot of things but if you really want to automate if you really want to automate you'll have to be on the pro plan which is $190 per month which is crazy yes so you'll have to be on this plan to actually avail uh, the uh, process of automation so you'll have to if, if you are on that plan then you'll have to create a new user and click on continue and now you will select your school and click on continue so when actually if you are a newbie and if you don't have this so basically it's pre-populated for me so all you have to do is click on continue and here is where you can add a new account okay so when adding a new account it's going to ask for the email uh, your teachable account email the teachable account password and then you'll have to add a subdomain to it as well so for finding the subdomain inside the admin of your teachable account go to admin go to sites find the domain name in your teachable admin and uh, yeah so make sure you do this use the subdomain which is uh, 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 which you had set up 
for the ZP integration and you'll have to place it over here and just click on continue and your account will automatically be associated with Zapier. So your Teachable account is associated with Zapier as such. Yes, and then you will just go click on continue. Now you will find the email ID from the first aspect with the catch hook and let's say the email ID is testing Jane here. Yes, and then you can put up a name as well. So let's put up a name uh, which is the buyer name. All right, now this is sorted. So now you can put a password. If uh, no password is provided, Teachable will send an additional email to the user to confirm their account and set a password. So it's better you don't put a password, you keep it uh, open so that Teachable can send the email and then uh, people can automate from there. Uh, they can actually uh, reset the password and start using and just click on continue. Yes, so now we are sending the data to uh, Teachable and let's see what happens. So it says a test new user was sent to uh, Teachable just now. So this is amazing. And now what you have to really do is, what you really have to do is again, go to Teachable and then enroll the user inside a course. Yes. So now uh, there are two different aspects to it. If you just want to create a new user, then you select new user itself. But if you want to create a new user and then enroll user in the course, then you will select this option as such. So now the thing is you can actually avoid the third step and just directly do this because this gives you both the options. So you can really delete this and you will click on the second option, which is enroll user in case because it does both the work for you as such. Yes. And then you will associate your account here. Now you will choose which course do you want to automate the course access here. Let's say I want to put the person into a free digital marketing course and then I will go pick up the email ID again and I'm going to put the email ID over here. I'm going to put the name here and then password will remain common as such. So the only change was that instead of creating a new user, I enrolled the user in the course. Now what will happen is a new user will be created. Yes. And then uh, he will be given uh, access as well. So I'm just going to test and continue. It says uh, it was just sent to Teachable right now. So I am given the access to Teachable uh, account and the course. And this is how it's going to work here that uh, I have uh, been enrolled in the free digital marketing course by sort of Jane and this happened because of the automation using Zapier. So I hope you loved this video as such and you uh, will be able to automate the entire workflow. Not just that, uh, the moment you are done with um, giving the enrollment in Teachable, you click on done editing, you can then go forward, send an SMS. Uh, using click send uh, there are other service providers here and then you can put them into your available list or convert kit mailchimp list over here so one workflow you can automate unlimited things and it can go on and on and once you're done you'll just have to click on zap and turn it on okay so the moment you turn it on uh, this becomes active and you'll be able to uh, you know automate the entire process as such if you love this video do uh, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification because you're going to get a lot of videos like this not just that if you really want to know uh, the teachable review uh, and how do you compare teachable so there is a video that i've made on uh, uh, how you can use teachable and what are the better alternatives so uh, in in this video i'm going to show you a uh, alternative of teachable uh, which can save you tons of money and you don't even have to use um, zapier instead you're going to use a way cheaper tool uh, which is which is only going to cost you one tenth of the price that you pay to zapier and uh, teachable together so here is where you can find the best teachable Ultimate alternative call. and i've covered pretty much all the ground in this 24 minutes video so in the description in the bottom if you want to go ahead all the details are available go ahead make sure you use it and if you have any doubts do uh, put in your comments in the bottom and i'll be uh, willing to listen and help you out thank you so much